Hey there, I'm Tyler Lunsford, and you're watching a review of Jared Manley's Bolted. What is up, beautiful people? My name is Tyler Lunsford, and welcome back to another Magic Trick review here on the channel. Now, if you're new here, then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel at my past reviews. Now, if you are new here, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by and spend some time in today. I really do appreciate it. Now, without any further ado, you know what? We're not going to talk anymore in the intro. Let's go ahead and get right into this review of Bolted, which is a cool card to impossible location right now. One more thing before this video does get started, I do want to say this product was sent to me by Abstract Effects to be reviewed, but they actually don't sell this product on their website. They're not a full retailer of Magic, which means they only sell their own stuff, so you know that you're truly getting an unbiased review right now when you watch this video because they don't even sell this product. They're helping me out with the channel, help me buy some more Magic so that way I can do these reviews for you guys and put out more reviews for you guys. So thanks so much to Abstract Effects for helping me out, and hopefully you get something out of this video as well. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. First off, you need to know what actually is Bolted. Well, Bolted allows you to take a randomly signed card and make it disappear with no hesitation, pull out a locked case with the very same signed card inside. There are many different ways to reveal Bolted, including from a pouch, a tuck case, and even your back pocket. There's no forcing, no duplicates, you can use it with business cards and predictions, and it includes a slight free handling for absolute beginners. The Bolted tutorial contains multiple routines geared towards every skill level. Whether you're a complete beginner or a seasoned professional, perform the routine that works best for you. This is the perfect way to finish any signed card routine, and the best part, you can hand it out immediately afterwards so there is no doubt that their signed card is bolted inside. The tutorial video you receive is a massive two hours long, and on there you're going to learn all the stuff that I just talked about and more about how to care for your gimmick and all that good stuff. You also receive a felt drawstring bag and another gimmick that will help this trick work. Now that you know what Bolted is and what you'll be receiving, let's talk more in depth about some questions you may have, such as how difficult is Bolted to perform? It's actually not too terribly difficult to perform, depending on which version you're doing. They do range from really easy to more advanced, you know, intermediate with some more sleight of hand, but you choose which routine you you want to do that fits best for you. How are the angles when it comes to performing bolted? Well, you do need to have some misdirection when it comes to performing bolted. Now, this is pretty much built into most of the routines that are taught, but just be aware you are going to be after doing some type of misdirection, but the actual angles, you should be able to perform this surrounded because you can wear a jacket with the glass case or the plexiglass, you know, case inside of your jacket pocket if you just want to do it that way. You can also reveal the bolted case by taking it out of a card box that could be sitting on the table. Is this examinable? Well, it's advertised as being examinable, and it is to a certain extent. I would not let my spectators hold this for too terribly long because they might find out something after holding it on, you know, after holding on to it for quite a while. So obviously, don't let them hold on to this for that long because then they probably will find out something. Are there any negatives when it comes to performing Bolted? Well, the quality is pretty good, but I know some people have been talking about how theirs have fallen apart and they had to glue some things back together, but mine has been good. I just want to say that, but I do just want to make you aware of that. Other people have been having an issue with the quality, but it is Murphy's Magic, and usually the stuff they put out is decent quality. It's pretty good quality usually, so if you have any problems with that, just reach out to the Magic Shop you bought it from, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to assist you with that. Now, some other negatives. I think it's a bit weird that this card is bolted in side and you can't take it out afterwards and another thing because the card if you're doing this certain routine if you're doing the one where you know you have a card inside of that case to begin with I find it a bit weird because if you take that card out why can't you take this one out or why didn't the card you took out first have bolted holes in it, right? Why didn't it have holes? Because these bolts go all the way through, right? I'll actually get the gimmick for you real quick. This is what the gimmick looks like. This is it right here. Now, I find it a, a bit weird, like I was saying, that these bolts go all the way through, but if you take this card out, there's no holes in it, which is just a little weird to me. Another thing is if you let your spectators hold on to this for too long, which is just what I was mentioning, they might be able to find out something. So just be careful with how long you let them hold on to this because if they start pulling in all sorts of different ways, they might be able to find something. What are the positives when it comes to performing Bolted? I love that they teach you so many different ways to use this Bolted gimmick on the downloadable tutorial video, which is, like I said, two hours long. It's a massive video that you can watch and learn all about this gimmick through, so I did appreciate the detail in that. Another thing is just, it's just a cool card to impossible location, and 
there's so many ways to do it, which is nice. What should this retail as? Well, this currently retails as 50 US dollars, and is that a fair price? And I feel like it could have been more like $45 just because for what you get, now you do get a lot that you can do with it, but I still think for $50 and the quality issues that some people have had, I feel like it should be more like $45. What would I give this out of 10? I'm going to give this a 7.4 out of 10. The reason it's getting that score is because some of it just does not make sense to me. Part of the routines included are just weird. Like, why would you show a card that's bolted, has bolts going through it, and then when you take that card out, there's no bolt holes in it. Like that's another trick, right? That's not what we're focusing on first. Another thing is you can't have this examined too thoroughly. And also I would like to be able to unscrew these bolts or whatever and like take a card out just because I feel like some spectators might question that at the end of it. But besides all that and, and the quality issues that I've mentioned with other people's experiences, I think that it is a cool impossible, you know, location trick where you have a card appear there or it'd be cool if you used it with like a prediction effect. But for all the negatives that it has, like the things that I just mentioned, there's just so many things that don't make sense. You need to be careful with your routining and be careful that your spectators don't want to see this gimmick or want to see it too much or ask you to take the card out or whatever. Just find a way around that. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you feel like Bolted is for you and you want to purchase it, the link for that is in the description down below. Now also in the description is a link to my Instagram page. There you can follow me on Instagram at Tower Answer Magic. There I post all sorts of behind the scenes, Q&A, sneak peeks, so definitely check me out on there. I'd really appreciate it. I'd also I'd also like to thank Abstract Effects for sending me this product so I could do the review for you beautiful people out there. And without further ado, hopefully I'll see you in another video I post sometime soon. See ya!